right, good morning everybody. It's Foggy One here. I'm with uh, the Divine Veronica. And uh, today we're gonna get some rockfish. Uh, it's officially fall. I think the halibut are slowing down a little bit. I haven't seen too many pictures in the reports. So we're headed north. We're gonna go a little further than we've been before. Just past uh, Red, White, and Blue Beach. Hit uh, probably the 80 to 100 foot range and we're gonna drop down some, what did we get today? We got some, uh, some rock cod rigs, some little squid, and some shrimp flies. We brought anchovies and we brought squid and we're gonna tip them with that. All right, wish us luck, let's see how we do. Felt big at first, now I'm not sure. That's right, we're 110 feet down. That's a good canary. Off to a good start. Off to a good start. All right, canary fish. So there's supposed to be bigger sized fish out here. So that's why I made the extra journey. All right, let me get the bonker. Gonna be a quick limit day. Hopefully. We'll keep them. Ah. Haven't had a limit in a while. Maybe today is the day. How fast can you pull up a hundred feet? <laughs> 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 they doing this all day. Oh. oh wow. Yeah, I'll send it back. Alright, so here's my descending device. It is basically a, a weight clip swivel. I made a I made this out of a coat hanger. And just clip them on right here. I filed that down to a little bit of a point and I put a bend backwards so they don't fall off too easy before they get down. Sweetie, so you got all these pokies right there. It's good to grab them on the inside of the mouth with your thumb. That way they don't get you. That way they don't get you with their pokers. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, is that okay? Where did you know? It should be off. Awesome. 
bring it back in. They say one third to. It feels heavy. Still feels like it's on there. Yeah. Well, there's a 10 ounce weight on there. Oh. So it should still feel a little heavy. But it should slide right off of that. Yep, he's gone. Oh, nice. Safe release. Safe release. No more feeding the birds. Nice. All right. I like that. All right, so it's about eight o'clock. We're at the spot, two rockfish in the boat. We just uh, reset drift and we're waiting for them bites to pick back up. Hey, that's not too bad. Oh, uh, he just shook all of my squid off my hooks. Oh, actually, he just barfed something up. But no, that's something else he was eating. Decent. All right, switching to shrimp fly with half an anchovy on the bottom, shrimp fly with a whole anchovy on top. Moving spot. A little slow. All right, so we're headed back down the coast. Our first spot only pulled about three fish in what two hours hour and a half so got to be proactive got to find them fish i think there's something on there maybe it's just a rock hey the sand dab heck yeah that's gonna be link cod bait Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Oh, One for each of us. Alright, I'm gonna switch then. Oh, dab or dab. Actually, I'm going to try to get one more. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Nice. They like those feathers. Something, yeah. Yeah, so first we got the slider. Then we have a bead to protect our knot. Now we're going to do a polymer knot. To our clip swivel. Polymer knot is the best knot for braid. Oops! Polymer knot is the best knot for braid. So double the line. Double the line. Basic loop knot. Send it through. Pull it tight. There we go. Trim our tag end. Okay, now this is just a, like a 48 inch leader with two trebles, tied in fixed positions, about four or five inches apart. Just like that. All right, now I'm gonna do a, I think this is called a surgeon's loop, dropper loop, whatever. A second twist for extra strength. There we go. All right, it's 9.53. We both switched to live bait. I got three sand dabs and we both put one on. So we got one extra in the live well. Hoping for that link cod. Who knows, a good halibut would be great. Who knows? Is this? This looks like what the rockfish puked up, but it's nice and fresh, and then just came back with the seaweed. Hmm. Oh, the wood just jumped off. Ew, the hermit crab. 
No, those are those gill lice. Ew! Uh, I don't like those at all. Those are so, can you imagine all the other gross things that are on the bottom of this? Yeah, these crawl into the sand crab's gills. Hmm. Might be good bait, I don't know. There you go. Go back in the house. In between his eyes coming out. We're further south. The engine was having a few hiccups, so I want to get closer back, back to harbor. And I have caught lingcod at this spot before too, so let's see what happens. Everything all right? Do you need help? Yeah, me out. This one doesn't have any. Hey, it saw it come out. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't have any anymore. Okay, so we just baited up with the sand dabs, and I forgot the camera was recording like I've done before. And about two and a half minutes after Veronica drops her sand dab over the edge, she gets a nice little bite. Does not feel like much, but she ends up pulling up a lingcod that could have been a keeperling. However, it shook free because we did not have the net assembled in time. Always have your net ready if you're fishing for big fish. And of course, when I go to turn the camera on, I don't realize that I'm actually turning the camera off. Yeah! Drag! What? Yes, go put those on. Alright. Yeah! Oh, heck yeah! <laughs> Alright, buddy! Alright, biggest ling on this boat is 13 pounds. My dad holds a record. Oh, my biggest ling is 11 pounds, 30 inches. Let's see what we got. But it's it's fighting like a new personal best. Let's see if we can get it in the boat though. Smallest sand dab, too. Oh, wow, look at it. It almost looks like a scab. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Get, get that net down there. Scoop down, scoop down, scoop down, scoop down. Yes. I don't know, that's a... Yeah, I think that might be my personal best. Right there. Okay, guys. All right, here's the end of the day. Oh. Good size, about 10 pounds. Not on the best scale, about 10 pounds. 26 and a half, 27 inches. All right, we're going home with food today. Well, we already got three rockfish in the boat. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Right. 
right. Red vermilion. Wow, that is bright red. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. And, oh. oh, there we go. Slide on in. Your hand in his mouth. just past the low tide so we should be getting some current coming inwards I'm uh, not having too much luck on this artificial stuff I'm gonna switch back to my shrimp fly and bait it up with some squid oh, here it comes stay 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 oh, oh. <laughs> he, doesn't like the net. he saw it I was a little slow with it it almost looks like cabazon Look like darker colors. Could be just a boy. Send him over, done. Get his head out. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure that's a keeper. Look at he unhooked himself. He was barely on. Oh off. my goodness! So close. Wow. <laughs> All right, two boys today, huh? Oh. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. Yeah, it's a good little fight. <laughs> Twenty-four. Definitely a keeper. All right, this is Veronica's fish. We both got one now. To me and Tim had there. That was when I did that eye scattering. We look around and didn't see any spouts out. All right, bonking time. Bonking time. <laughs> good job, sweetie. Thank you. Very good job. You got to feel a little run, too. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> that first one though. <laughs> That's still a pretty fish right there. Yeah. All right. Bit her. all over me. Oh. <laughs> We're just going back after this. Good day today! 
Link cod, link cod day. We got a bunch of rockfish too. She got a real nice vermilion in here. Let's show that off, huh? <laughs> there you go. Not bad at all. Some real bright colors today on our rockfish. Yeah. All right. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Place a comment, I can always use some tips. And don't forget to subscribe. All right.